What's going on everybody? It's Adonis with Absolutely Tech and today we're talking Darkroom. So what is Darkroom? Well, Darkroom is a photo editing application for the iPhone that gives you professional levels of control tied with a non-threatening interface. So let's see if that's a winning combination. All right guys, so we're gonna go into Darkroom, very bottom, I'm gonna touch that. Now this is the interface of Darkroom. Very clean, very simple. Upper right hand corner, if I touch that little, uh, it looks like tiles, if I touch that it gives me my photo library and all the folders inside of that photo library. But I'm not gonna go into there. I already have the photos that I want to use. Very left, there's a little gear. If I touch that, it gives me some settings for the application. Obviously their Instagram, I can share to them as well. Let me hit the X. But obviously this is a photo editing application, so we're gonna focus on photos. So I'm gonna select one of my photos here. I'm gonna select this one I took at the Apple store in Santa Monica. So this is the editing interface. So upper right hand corner, we have our share button, library buttons on the left. Now on the bottom is where all the magic kind of happens. So this is really exciting. This app is super good. So on the bottom, we have our crop, the very left. Obviously we can turn this for degrees if you want to do that. We have a rotation on the right and the left. Those little arrows, if I touch those, they'll rotate the image. And then I have cropping, so I can crop these here if I want to, or if I hit reset, it'll reset the entire thing. The next tile over is filters. Now the filters we're gonna get to a little bit later, but these are the stop filters that come pre-installed in the application. And the reason I say stock is because this application allows you to create your own filters, which is pretty remarkable. Next tile over is our controls, so we have brightness, contrast, and so on. Most people are familiar with these. If they used any, you know, decent photo editing application on their phone or iPad, the next one is a paid um, addition to the application. It's your curves. Now, if you're somewhat of a um, of a beginner, you may not understand fully what curves d uh, do, but in this tutorial, I'll show you a little bit of how powerful they can actually be. And the right is the undo. So this is the best. So you can edit things as you go, but if you're like, oh, I don't really care for that, I can actually go back to the previous edit. So I love this feature because sometimes you start getting creative. And you're like, oh, I like that. And then after a while, you're like, no, I don't really care for that. And you want to undo it, but you can't. You have to start all the way over. So this gives you that flexibility and creativity um, that allows you to make mistakes, but then go back if you don't care for the things that you've done. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with curves first. Now we're on RGB. If you look on the left side, I can switch to red, green, or blue. These are the um, the things that I can control in the curves. I'm just gonna do the entire RGB and I'm going to start some edits. So we're going to bring some of the shadows down. My focus here is I really wanna bring out the background where the clouds are. So I'm gonna bring the uh, shadows down a little bit. Highlights. I'm gonna take the white up because I want that Apple logo to be as wide as possible. Highlights, we can do a little bit up as well. Midtones, we're going to enhance that just a tad. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go to the blue and I'm gonna try to bring out, um, crush the blues in the shadows. I want that sky to be more black and red as opposed to blue, so I'm gonna bring the blue out of it. That's why you bring it down. And all I'm doing on these is dragging down, by the way. So I'm just gonna bring it a little bit. I'm not gonna take it all the way out. And then mid-tones, take some of the blue out as well. Whites, take it out completely. I don't want any blue in the white. See, if I take this up, <clears throat> if I take this up, we don't wanna do it too much because I don't want the apple to turn yellow. So I'm just gonna do it a little bit. And then red, I'm actually going to make the midtones make those pop a little more. If I take them all the way up, you'll see a drastic change in the clouds. I don't want it to be that ridiculous. So I'm gonna do it just a little bit. And then shadows, we're gonna take the red out of it as well. Okay. So I like that so far, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit more. So I'm gonna go over to my settings here and I'm gonna turn the brightness down just a little bit because I want the focus to be on the clouds and the apple. So I'm gonna take that out 
And then I'm gonna add some vignette, a little bit of vignette there, nothing too crazy. Temperature, I'm gonna turn up just a little bit. Now if I slide this all the way over, you'll see it's more warm, left is gonna be cooler. I don't want a lot of blue, so I'm just gonna do a little bit to the right. We're gonna turn some of the sharpness up. We'll accentuate those clouds in the apple. And then we're gonna turn some saturation up just a tad bit and some contrast up just a little bit. Now these are the settings that I, I want for it. Now if I go back to this filter here, I can create this as a filter. So there's a little create filter button. If I touch that, I can create this as a filter. Let's just call it test and I'm hit save. All right, let's do test two because I already created one before. So let's call it test two. There we go. So that's my filter that I have set. Now, here's the cool thing. If I say, you know what? I really don't care for that. I can press and hold on the test two like this. And it's gonna say delete filter. And I can delete it just like that. So I'll show you again. Just touch it, delete filter, and it's gone. Now, the little clock on the right hand side, that undo we were talking about. If I go there, I have the ability to undo what I just did. Undo my filters, undo contrast. So if I wanna do everything up to contrast, I just touch contrast. Now, obviously my image isn't going to change because everything I did after that was deleting those filters. So if I go back here to brightness and I turn my brightness all the way up like that, and then I go back to the undo, I can touch contrast and it undoes the brightness that I just did. So I really enjoy this a lot. So turn this contrast up just a tad. Golden. So that last thing I want to do, I want to crop this. So because it's kind of as a scaled, um, we're going to do one to one. No, let's do, let's do four by three. I'm going to get kind of in here. So there you go. Now, to save this, all I need to do is touch on the photo. I'm gonna press and hold, and I'm gonna drag down, and you'll see your controls disappear. I can select share in the upper right-hand corner, which is pretty cool, or I can hit library in the upper left-hand corner. I'm gonna hit share, and I can share it to Instagram immediately, save as a square photo, or I can save it to camera roll. I'm gonna save it to camera roll. And that's it, save the camera roll. Now, if I press and hold on the photo, it will show me what the photo used to look like. So enjoy that quite a bit. Now I'm gonna slide down and it will actually go back to my library. And I'm gonna show you what this would, what we can do with panoramas. So really cool, I love this photo. I took this at uh, Santa Monica Beach. Now we're gonna do some things here. I'm gonna take, let's see, bring some of the highlights up a little bit, some of the whites down a little bit, mid-tones I'm gonna start bringing out, shadows, turn this up a little bit, blacks up a little bit. I'm gonna go here, we're gonna bring some of the brightness down, contrast up a little bit, saturation we're gonna boost for sure, vignette just a tad. Because we're trying to draw the focus into the center. Turn some of the sharpness up. And we're going to take some saturation up as well. Fantastic. So very simple settings. And then if I want to create that as a filter, I can touch here, create filter, and call it beach. Why not? And that's it. And you turn a photo from this to this. Really easy. I love this app. And if I want to get super crazy, I can say, you know, let me take some of the blue out of the highlights or the whites, if I wanted to do that. If I really wanted to get crazy with it or boost this, do some crazy stuff. You can really get really creative though with this application. That's why I think I enjoy it so much because there's so much flexibility in it. So, I mean, it doesn't look super awesome, but you can get really creative with this app.
Oh, it's crazy. So let's do that. And I'm gonna slide down, share, save the camera. And that's it guys. It's a really, really awesome application. I'm super surprised on how powerful it is. Even though it's stuck in your phone, um, it has some uh, essence of Lightroom. Uh, obviously it's not Lightroom, but it's really cool to have something like this on your phone. So that'll do it for Darkroom, guys. I personally love this application. It is very easy to use. It inspires confidence, especially with that undo button. You can just kind of go back. I love the fact that you can create filters out of things that you actually said on the photo that you do. That is incredible. But it really doesn't matter what I think. What do you guys think? Does it suck? Is it good? Is it missing things? Leave it down in the comment section below for me. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Till next time, guys. See you later.